What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you two knife features. Hey Siri, take me to my iPhone photos. And here they are. So I've got my photos up here. They look pretty stupid. A lot of them are. So I'm going to go, hey Siri, take me to photos from Queenstown. And here are my photos from Queenstown. So I can go look at them. So you can go take me to photos from. Okay, for this next feature, it's going to be with the flashlight. So I'll go up, hit the flashlight. So it works normally. But if you hold it, you can change how high you want it to go. So I can change, keep changing. And, I'll, and I can turn it off as well. So you can't see the actual flashlight, but it does work. So now I'm going to show you how to get low quality images from your friends so it doesn't take up all your gigabytes. So we'll go into our settings, we'll scroll down, and we'll go into messages, which is near the bottom. So we'll tap on that, and then we'll scroll down all the way to the bottom and tap low quality image mode so it doesn't like take up all your gigabytes and stuff like that. So I've tapped it, so now my images from friends will be super low quality so they don't waste all my data. So this next feature is like if you're in an attack or something and you don't want people to find out your iPhone password so you can like keep it to yourself, you can double tap the button on the side to turn off five times and it'll take you to the bottom so if you press cancel and try to get into your phone it won't recognize, you need your fingerprint to get in or your passcode so I'll, so I can't turn off my screen recording without my passcode so I'll just do that. And here it is, so done, and yeah, here you go. Okay, so this next feature is, I know that loads of people have far too many photos in their thing. So we can hit our photos app, and so I'm going to go into my recent ones, and instead of just tapping all of them one by one to delete, it, you can press select, and then you can swipe your finger across and grab all of them. You need to start from the side there, and and you can do this instead of just tapping one by one and by one by one, if you get the point. So, I just delete them because I don't need them anymore. So yeah, it's a pretty handy feature. Okay, so for this next feature, I'm guessing a lot of you guys need this. So it's saving your battery. So we're going to our settings app. So we can go there. So so from the top, you'll go down to control center. It's one of the first ones. So I tap on that. And I'll press customize controls. So I've already got it running because I need power. So I'll remove it and it's somewhere around the middle. So we'll plus that, press the plus button, and it'll go up into your ones that can you can minus off. So and now it's down in the bottom right hand corner. Okay, so for this next feature, it's going to be how to send photos to your friends faster on email. So we'll go into a mail app. And you'll type it to a random person. Well, you'll be specific, but then we'll hold down and then you'll press the button on the right and insert photo or video, which is quite obvious. And then we'll take a photo, so I'll just do someone running, which is my brother, and then it'll load up and now I'll press exit and then it'll be down there. So, and I'll just, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Okay guys, make sure you smash that subscribe button, I just need the subscribers, and make sure you drop likes and get friends and family to subscribe. See ya!